initiating moisture. Welcome to the Moist Meter. Today we're taking a look at Demon Souls Remake, a PlayStation 5 launch title. As many of you know, Souls-like games are my favorite games, it's my favorite genre, and Demon Souls Remake put a wet spot in my dry trousers. This game was absolutely fantastic. I played Demon Souls a long time ago, but I don't remember a fucking thing about it. I couldn't remember a single character, couldn't remember a single boss battle or anything, and I don't know why. I guess when I beat the game originally, the Men in Black raided my house and hit me with a neuralizer, so I forgot it all, but I came in here. Every Everything was completely fresh and clean, and I absolutely loved it. There are things that I think are very flawed with the game, but overall, absolutely spectacular, and I think it is the perfect launch title for the PlayStation 5, because it showcases the PlayStation 5 technology beautifully. Graphically, the game is absolutely stunning, just absolutely gorgeous, and there's so much detail on everything. I feel like you could see your character fucking sweating, like individual pores opening up to release a little moisture when it gets too hot in the game. It is really impressive what they are able to do visually with this game. It is absolutely fucking great to look at. And aside from just graphical improvements with the next-gen console, the controller here in this game really shines. Demon Souls works that bad boy out nicely. As I mentioned in the PlayStation 5 moist meter, I thought all that haptic feedback talk, all that mumbo-jumbo hocus-pocus was just going to be real gimmicky and I wouldn't care. But playing through Demon Souls, I love that shit. You know, if you swing your sword and it hits a wall, you feel it rattle in your controller, but not just that. If you hit the wall on the right side, you feel it rattle on the right side of the controller, so it's like different levels of vibration that really just immerses you in the experience and makes you feel like the character in the game. If one of those pussy archers shoots an arrow at you and it sails by your head, just narrowly missing your skull, you can hear it on the controller, just air brushing by you, and you can feel a little rumble on there, on the direction that the arrow missed you on. It's really really fucking cool technology and I really thought that it shined in this game. Really everything Demon Souls Remake does does a great job at showcasing what the PlayStation 5 is capable of. The gameplay is of course fantastic. From what I understand it is one to one with the original Demon Souls. Nothing has changed with anything of the bosses, the combat, the fighting, anything. The only changes are quality of life changes aside from obviously the graphical upgrades but everything else is completely intact. The only difference being of course the artistic changes and they fix something like the duplication glitch and other like game breaking bugs like that. Other than that, it's exactly the same as it was in the original game, which I think is a good thing because the gameplay is still super fun. It is still outstanding. There's still a lot of cool builds you can do. I understand that magic builds really rule Demon Souls. I went with a full strength build using the Dragon Bone Smasher, which is basically just Demon Souls version of the Moby huge three foot dildo, so I was slinging that meat around. And that was a lot of fun. The game was very difficult in the beginning because I chose an extremely hard path. I went from zone one right into flame lurker path and using blunt weapons and just caveman clubs and shit playing as Officer Greg, my character in that zone is a nightmare because everything resists that kind of damage. So, I mean, it was fucking tough, but the struggle was worth it because when I finally did beat Flame Lurker, it felt incredible. It took me somewhere in the realm of 15 or 20 tries, and I finally got it in a run with the Crushed Great Axe. It took me 76 hits and like a full 15-20 minute slug fest, blood, tits, and cum everywhere. 20 minutes, full focus, 76 hits to finally beat the Flame Lurker. And I, I it, it was a triumphant moment. I, I just felt on top of the world. The game was just so fun. Uh, and it wasn't a hard game after that. Like, once I beat Flame Lurker, it never really got to that level of difficulty again. Because then I just started steamrolling with the Dragon Bone Smasher. But... It was extremely fun. I love the gameplay. Absolutely love it. A complaint I have about the game though is the camera really betrays you super often. This camera will just get stuck in fucking anything. If you tiptoe around the corner, your camera is just going to like blast in front of your face and go into first person mode randomly sometimes. Like it, the camera can be all over the place and a real nuisance. Oftentimes that's one of the hardest boss battles is with that camera. In addition to that, the hitboxes can sometimes be absolutely nonsensical. Like a boulder will get thrown at you, the boulder completely explodes, and then you walk over the little rubble, and you take full damage as if you just got blasted with that boulder. 
even though it had already exploded, it's already like phasing out of reality, but there's still little fragments of stone there and it does the full damage to you. There, there's just some weird hitboxes in the game, which can definitely be frustrating sometimes. And the last real complaint I have about the game is there's so many sections here where it's just tight corridor fighting. So Demon Souls doesn't have bonfires, by the way, so you're not getting like checkpoints or anything throughout the mission, and you don't use Estus, you use grass that you have to farm for. It's a consumable healing item, which is a bit of a headache, but it's not the biggest deal in the world. It frustrated me a little bit, but it only added more to the challenge and the scarcity of the resources and options you have for healing. But the, the thing with the tight corridors really just got on my ass cheeks, just grinded that shit. Because there's so many fights that take place in these tight ass corners and I'm slinging around like a 90 pound fucking dragon bone smasher so I'm constantly hitting the side of the environment and I only have one option which is using my heavy attack which is vertical and I'll still hit the side without hitting the enemy. Like I don't know why there's just so many fights that take place in these super tight corridors like you're just squeezed in this little box, this little hallway and you fight like 9 enemies. That was frustrating just how frequently I found myself in those tight spaces. And you don't really have an option in a lot of them, like you'll go up a, a long fucking staircase and you'll fight like Wizard Squidward and you have to fight him in that like tight space with no other options of leading him elsewhere or anything like that. So just sometimes that would be a big frustrating like headache, having to fight in those kind of situations. But other than that, those are like not major complaints. It didn't really detract from my overall enjoyment of the game. I still absolutely loved every minute of the game. Plugging Demon Souls remake into the moist meter, I'm giving this a 90%. I think it is a fantastic game and the perfect launch title for the PlayStation 5, really. And if I had to put Demon Souls remake on a tier list for the Souls-like games, my favorite is still Bloodborne. Second place is Dark Souls 1. I'd actually put Demon Souls remake at third place. I enjoyed everything about the experience. It's you know there's of course the headaches there, but overall I mean I absolutely loved it. And then after Demon Souls would be Dark Souls 3 and then Dark Souls 2 for me. It's just it was just a re really good experience. One of the easier Souls games, actually I'd probably say it's the easiest Souls game, but still one of the most fun. That's about it. So yeah.